Welcome back, beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious tostada, chorizo, and potato right. you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. I'm going to start here with the onion, and I'm going to cube it in small little pieces. I have half an onion, two tomatoes, four potatoes, and one pound of chorizo. We want to dice all the ingredients almost the same size so they cook at the same time. Well, here I am going to transfer the onion to the plate. I'm going to continue with the two tomatoes and I'm doing the same thing. These tostadas really come out so crispy and delicious that I know you guys are going to love them. They are perfect for this summer. They are not too time consuming. You can make them in about 30 minutes and then enjoy them with your family. I'm going to transfer it to the plate. I'm going to continue with my potatoes that I have washed really good. I'm going to go ahead and start taking the skin off of the potato and then I'm going to cube it. I'm going to try and cube it not too small or not too large. Let me show you so that you could really enjoy the potato in the chorizo. The chorizo is pork chorizo and you could find it in any supermarket. Look at this. I'm going to continue dicing the rest. And once I have them nice and diced, I'm going to transfer it to a plate. I'm going to add some water because I don't want the potatoes to get brown. So I'm going to show you all the ingredients. The chorizo, one tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of black pepper, and salt to taste. Remember that the chorizo has so much flavor just amazing so many spices are in the chorizo that really you don't need to add any more so once you add everything in the pot what you're going to do reduce the heat i have a big piece of onion that i don't want you're going to reduce the heat and you're going to cook your chorizo with the onion and the tomato in medium heat when you have it all incorporated, you are going to cover it, cover it, and let it cook, simmer, and then open it, move it around. You could see all the juices and the grease. Remember, we didn't add any oil or lard. This is what has rendered from the chorizo. And now that everything is nice and mushy and cooked, even the tomato is almost disappearing and that's exactly how you want it you are going to add your potato once you add your potato incorporate it really good with that chorizo you want to make sure that all the potato is covered with the flavor of the chorizo tomato and onion once it's incorporated just like that you are going to add your garlic powder black pepper and remember that the salt is to taste so here i'm just going to go ahead and start adding the spices and then i'm going to incorporate it one more time i'm going to cook it for about five minutes i don't want to overcook the potato i don't want the potato to be smushy i want the potato to be still with the same shape of the little square. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it and I'm going to continue cooking it in medium heat, just like that. After the five minutes, I'm going to move it around and then I'm gonna check the potato. I want the potato to be al dente, but not overcooked. So I'm gonna help myself with the fork and let me see how the potato is doing this part is very important don't overcook your potato you want to see your potato in the tostada i'm going to taste it and i'll let you know no it needs to cook for another five more minutes and then the potato will be al dente it's still a little too hard 
I'm going to go ahead, cover it, and then after you cover it, just let it cook for another five minutes. The total that I've been cooking everything is about 30 minutes. And now, let's see. It still has its shape and it is ready. I am ready to start frying my tortillas and getting my tostadas nice and golden brown. This takes time, okay? Make sure that you already have preheated your vegetable oil before you add your tortilla. You want the vegetable oil to be nice and hot or else the tortilla is going to absorb all the excessive oil. Be ready to have a plate with some napkins to get the excessive oil out of your tostadas. Well, I'm gonna continue making the rest. Once this is done, we are ready to assemble our amazing chorizo with papa tostadas. If you got up to this part of the video and you like and you love this recipe, I invite you to subscribe, to leave me a thumbs up, to share this video on social media so Cooking with Gloria continue growing. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. But look how easy it is to make homemade Mexican tostadas. You add some sour cream right on top of the tostada. And of course, you already have the roasted green tomatillo salsa on my channel. It is ready. I am ready to enjoy. And I hope you guys were here to taste this with me. I am ready for the presentation and I'll see you in just a little bit. Can't wait to enjoy. I am completely done with these amazing tostadas of chorizo with potato with of course this um, roasted tomatillo sauce that you already have on my channel this is the part I love and enjoy tasting my recipes excuse me mmm mmm delicious when you cook with love everything comes out perfect If you like and love this amazing recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. I will stay enjoying these amazing tostadas of chorizo with potato. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.